excuse me, this is quoting Jeremiah 31, and we're going to turn to Jeremiah 31 in just a minute, but um, let's start reading verse number 8 here in Hebrews 8. For finding fault with them, he saith, Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, when I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah, not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers in the day when I took them by the hand to lead them out of the land of Egypt, because they continued not in my covenant, and I regarded them not, saith the Lord. Now, clearly, this old covenant that he's talking about is referenced as when he took them out of Egypt, which is when they gave them the law of Moses. That's when he gave them the Ten Commandments. That's when the law was delivered unto them. That is considered the old covenant. And he said, even back in the book of Jeremiah, even in the Old Testament, the prophecy of a new covenant to come. And why do I even make a point of that? Why is that important? Because peop some people try to claim that people have been saved differently in the Old Testament and other times. They say, oh, no, no, they had to do the sacrifices or else they died and go to hell. That's the way they had to go to heaven. They had to do the sacrifices and follow the Old Testament law and things like that. But that is not true. And I'm going to be sound like a broken record week after week because this is what this is teaching week after week in the scripture. He says, look, they didn't continue in my covenant and I regarded them not, saith the Lord. He regarded them not all the way back in the Old Testament. Even right after he gave them that old covenant, he says, they didn't continue in my covenant. I gave them the covenant, they didn't continue in my covenant, and I didn't even regard them anymore. I mean, it got to the point where he had to, to bring them back into captivity as an entire people, as a nation, and they were taken over by Babylon and brought captive, right? Because they rejected the Lord. Standing and knowing that that old covenant was never the, the path of salvation. Why in the world does anyone give heed to a people that claim to be God's chosen people, that claim to follow the old covenant, but they're not actually able to keep it because the Bible says that they haven't been able to keep it and he regarded them not. Therefore, God, God regards them not. Why would we give regard to a people that God doesn't regard? A people that is going to cling to the Old Testament and cling to that and reject a new covenant and reject the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Why would you ever turn to a people like that and give regard to a people like that when God does not regard them? Uh, uh, it, it's strange to me because this is unpopular preaching today. And even saying what I'm saying, I'm going to be labeled an anti-Semite, right? And I'm going to be some racist, bigot, whatever. I mean, just start labeling me everything. But this is what the Bible teaches. It's what the Bible teaches. Right. Jews don't get a special pass. If God regarded them not... Why would I regard them? Now look, I'm not saying that I'm going to treat them different than any other unsaved person because that's not what I believe. But they are not saved. They don't have a special pass into heaven. They are not some special people. God is done with them. He's done. He, he's broken off their branch and he's grafted in a new branch. And hey, they want to turn to Christ, they could be grafted right back in again. There's many individuals that do, so praise the Lord for that. But to have this, this sacred place to where we say, well, we have to bless Israel and we have to bless the Jew and we have to do good, you know, no, we don't. No, we don't. 